Hey guys, today I built this board out of some spare parts just for fun. Um, I had these dual uh, hub motors that I ordered on AliExpress. I actually ordered one of the motors and I couldn't find it's a square fit for hub motors. So for months it was just sitting in my office and then I found uh, I couldn't find a single uh, rectangle hub motor mount. So I found this on Maytech. So I ordered another motor so I could actually test it out. So today I've put my uh, 12S2P battery. This is actually a 36 volt or 24 to 36 volt motor. Um, but it actually runs fine on 12S. Um, since you're running at high voltage, you can run at uh, much less amps. So, you know, a lot of the hub motors or any brushless motor, you can actually run at a much higher voltage. Now, just don't run it, you know, just make sure your motors don't get hot um, and you should be fine. Uh, and just don't run it at, you know, high current. So, um, I, I had an old Beep Vesk, uh, Flipsky Vesk 4.20 plus the hall sensor a connector broke because I drilled through when I was drilling a battery box. So this one, um, this one has hall sensors, but... I didn't put that on there. Um, anyway, I'm just testing it out. I'm trying to make Vesk work. So I've got it running on uh, well, FOC and then it all gets all weird. Oh, I mean, it runs, but the startup is just not smooth because there's no hall sensors. Ah. Um, so I've you could switch it. Let's actually go ahead and switch it. Um, so you can actually go ahead and I got it connected to Bluetooth. Um, this is how I do it. I use all everything I do. I do everything on my phone because it's so much faster as uh, wireless. Uh, you see that $10 Bluetooth module. So I'm going to go here and go ahead and change this back to BLDC. So if you're not using sensors, um, I think the BLDC is the way to go. And I had to tweak the settings a bunch. Now it runs sort of smooth. So I can go so sort of slow and back. Um, so that's that's sort of what I'm working on. Uh, so this is just a test board that I made. That's why it's duct taped. And I, I want to find out if I can find a way to run hub motors sensorless uh, and smooth. So let me actually write it for you real, real quick for you guys. I'm just in my garage and my garage is so tiny. And you can see it's real good. The problem I'm having is when I brake, I get a lot of this, you know? So when I switch directions, the good thing is I can go forward and backwards. So I'm not too worried about uh, switching, but when I brake, you can see it just stutters a little bit. So I don't know if you guys know uh, good settings for sensorless hub motors. Then put it in the comment section box. <laughs> so I know I know there's a way you can get this running pretty smooth. I mean I've, I've tweaked the settings a lot so to, tonight I'm just uh, prototyping and it runs pretty smooth with no load on it. Like I said if I'm going fast it's alright but it's got plenty of power. These, these are uh, almost thousand watts each. Oh fudge, I'm gonna kill all my bars. Anyway, that's what I'm sort of work working on. This is a pretty decent board. Um, can you run 12S on hub motors, 36 volt motors? Oh hell yeah. Um, you just have to be careful you don't put too many amps to it. Uh, obviously that's gonna, you know, just watch the motor temperature. If it starts getting like too hot to touch, you're gonna probably burn out your motors. But most for most flat grounds, which is what this is designed for, you should be fine. If you're going to go up hills, I do highly recommend using hall sensors because without hall sensors, your motor is just not going to run um, very efficient. And let me give you a quick test. But these motors run pretty good. They they run up to I've gotten up to fifty five thousand eRPM, and I think I could I could run it even higher. But you know, um, this board is pretty fast. I wrote it today. You could go 
you could easily go like 25 miles per hour. But this is a small board. You probably don't want to go maybe 20, 22 miles max. Um, the reason why it's duct tape because you know I have all these parts and I want to try different parts and see which one all fits and then I'll put it in a battery box and make a complete board. But for right now, it's a complete failure just because the startup, you know, you could kickstart it, I guess, but I want to build a board that's, you know, you don't have to kickstart. Anyway, um, have a great day. Uh, I'll give you a tour of all my boards here in a bit in the next video, so stay tuned. Um, and if